comes. Yo, how's it going guys? I uh, just woke up and my dirt bike parts are here. We got a new CDI box, which is, what does that mean again? Something something ignition. It's a little box that goes under my seat in my dirt bike that all the electrical stuff plugs into. And then I have a new throttle and a new throttle cord. So we're gonna go install that stuff. My dirt bike hasn't started in a year and I've heard that the CDI box can go bad on these like little Chinese pit bikes. So if this works and my dirt bike go like starts to run, you know, I'm going to be the happiest person alive. So I thought I would record it, make a little video out of it and kind of explain the process. Uh, cause I, I like working on dirt bikes and stuff like that. So maybe who knows, I'll start a series or something like that. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video, leave a like and subscribe and yeah, thanks for watching. Back up the vent really quick. I don't know why there's tons of random stuff in here. So we got our package first of all. Uh, let's start this bad boy up. Guys, I have my temporary license, all right? I'm just backing this bad boy up. So I can work in the driveway. Back her up some more. We got our package. Don't want to leak my garage code. My garage is a mess, but we just have a lot of stuff in here. It's like our storage pretty much. So here's my mountain bike and my dirt bike. We got some new CST BSC tires on this bad boy. Yesterday I took the seat off and I, I found this little box that isn't on anymore. It's this, this little box was just chilling under here and I was like, what the heck is this? So I look up the numbers on the internet and then it pops up on Amazon. So I look at the reviews and stuff, to see if I need one. And it's like, if you aren't getting spark, like this can be the reason. So I got one, hopefully that fixes my spark problem and I got a new throttle with pro taper grips and stuff. The new pro taper grips, I think they're red. Um, and yeah, so hopefully we can just get my dirt bike to run. What's up? All right, so here's the old box. And it has a little rubber piece that it goes on like this. See? So we're gonna keep this rubber piece probably if it doesn't come with a new one. We're gonna open this package. We got the dirt bike right here. The seat's still off. But, uh, let's open this package up. It's gonna be tight. All right, we got... New throttle, baby. Then we got our CDI box. Which hopefully is the right one. Let's open it up and see. Wait, no way. They're the same size. <laughs> Yo, dude, I thought this was too small. thought this was way too small. This is the new one. I thought it was way too small, but they're actually the same size. Holy moly, dude. Dude, I was freaking out. I thought they were different sizes. All right, so we're going to snap this on here. Um, all right. All right, it's on. So, we are going to, so it's, it's, we snapped it onto these other cords, and what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of 
slide it down a little bit or do this and, and slide the metal piece hold up we're gonna this rubber part we're gonna slide it on this metal here which is probably supposed to go upside down like this so actually this these cords probably need to go under so let me take this off and take the cords probably should go under like this there and then we can then we can slide this on my bad bad cameraman skills come on slide on all right i think that's good wait because like it won't go on any farther i think oh, we got the, the red and black grips Hi, Dash. give it a test kick to see if it starts Good mom. It's not starting yet. And it's clear. Which is kind of cool. New throttle cable, which we'll probably replace. this part but my friends came over and we were trying to start it trying to like adjust the carburetor and idle screw and all that stuff and the idle screw was screwed all the way in in the carburetor or the throttle body and and the bike just like just rev limited the whole way and it started smoking and the kill switch wouldn't work <laughs> i think my kill switch is bad but we were just like did, we didn't know what to do because the bike was like about to blow up so I didn't record it, but luckily we have a security camera. So I'm gonna show that whole thing uh, that happened, but it's not gonna seem that crazy because the audio isn't gonna be that loud. But in real life, it was like as loud as a baby screaming in your ear. Like it was like so loud because I have a aftermarket muffler on this bike that is just so loud. And at at Redline, it's just so loud. So yeah, the audio cuts out, but it's really funny.
So yeah, since all of those clips happened, it's probably been about a week and I've been riding it every day, having fun. Uh, we took it out of my grandma's. So we're about to make like two more videos of just like riding and maybe more vlog style. But if you watched this far into the video, that probably means you liked it. So leave a like and subscribe. Um, I'm probably gonna put in some like random clips from the past few days in the video but like a little hints at the next videos coming up. So be sure to subscribe with notifications so you don't miss out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put some like clips of me riding, stuff like that that I have saved in my camera roll. Also in the new videos coming up, I'm gonna be ordering a new back sprocket, um, which will give us more top end speed, less torque, but more top end speed. Uh, some new like levers for my brakes and stuff new rear brake piston not for the caliper but for the brake fluid and the the foot lever um or pedal a new foot pegs um what else oh kill switch we're, we're gonna do kill switch hopefully that'll uh fix the old one because if we want to turn it off we have to 
put it into like fourth and then stall it to turn it off. It's really annoying. But uh, yesterday I did fix my neutral problem. So if your bike doesn't go into neutral really easily when when it's not moving, it means that your your clutch cable's too tight. So you just want to loosen that and then re-screw in the, the front screw, uh, like unscrew that or tighten it. No, yeah, you want to tighten it to loosen it. Yeah, yeah, you want to tighten the screw and then it'll make it go into neutral super easy. So yeah, I'm kind of yapping a little bit. Stay tuned for the new videos coming out. We're gonna be posting just some like non-edited riding videos, like chill style videos of just riding that are gonna be pretty relaxing. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and I'm gonna play the rest of the clips and I hope you guys uh, have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys.